Hey guys, Grant Brogy from The Strength Co. And today I wanna to cover, well, you know how Mark Ripito always says, do your fabs. I'm gonna tell you to stop doing that. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I say that tongue in cheek. Fives are very useful. Probably the most useful rep range there is for strength building. I don't wanna get in fights with anyone on YouTube about three reps and eight reps or whatever. Fives are very useful for strength acquisition, particularly for the new trainee. I've been barbell training with the starting strength method for about 10 years now, and I still use fives all the time. Do I use other things? Sure, but fives are a really good number for that, except when your press and bench press get stuck. Because the press and the bench press use less muscle mass than say the squat and the deadlift, it's usually the first two lifts that a new lifter stalls on, or they're making progress going up each time, and they're unable to complete three sets of five if they're doing starting strength or something like it. Now, assuming you've already answered the first three questions that we'll link the article here, very worthwhile read, and assuming that you are micro-loading, meaning using small plates, like, hmm, if only there was a company that made, yeah, buy those, then maybe what you need to do is stop doing fives. Have you ever thought about that? So what I find with lifters is they are doing this program, three sets of five, and they're adding weight each time. They're going up by two and a half pounds on their press. Everything's great. Every time they walk into the gym, they hit a PR. And then they come into the gym and they go five, four, four on the press, and they almost break down into tears and they tell me how they're a failure. You're not a failure. You just didn't get three sets of five at a new weight that you've never done before. So my approach for lifters in the press and the bench press is never take weight off the bar. Don't reset and then ramp back up. You know why? You're gonna run into the same brick wall you ran into last time. What you need is more stress at a higher intensity. So remember, volume, total numbers of sets and reps, intensity, total weight on the bar relative to my one rep max. So you need to put more weight on the bar in order to increase the stress. Basically, when you started three sets of five, when your press was weak and not very strong, adding two and a half pounds and doing three sets of five was enough stress for you to go up and weight the next time. But now that you've gotten stronger, you actually need more stress. In the squat and the deadlift, most of the time, these are not absolutes, but we find that, hey, something needs to be trained less. I'm so strong now that all of these things, really heavy three times a week is too much. But for the press and the bench press, in my experience, what the lifter actually needs is to deal with heavier loads. So how would you implement this into your training today? The thing I tell my lifters, whether I'm coaching them online, in the gym, or just giving them programming advice, is get 15 hard reps. 15 hard reps. And how you get there doesn't really matter. So some examples, maybe you got five, four, four on your workout and you were going for 15 reps, three sets of five. So you're delta two. So rest a few minutes, get back under the bar and get your last two. If you find on that set you can do three, do three. Get somewhere between 14 and 16 hard reps. Now, as you go up in weight, you might, may find that that's even harder to do. Let's say next time you go three, three, three. Well, and then you say, okay, I'll do five sets of three, but then you get two, two, one, one. That may happen to you. So if you have time and you can break up the sets to get 15 hard reps at the new weight, then do it. If time is a factor, get at least half of them at the new weight. What do I mean by that? So I'm gonna go up to 135 pounds for the first time. I get three, three, three. I'm six short, but I gotta go. I only got time for one more set. Take enough weight off of the bar so that you can do a set of five to six and pick up those last reps because they'll still be hard and you'll still have dealt with the new weight. So in summary, don't fall in love with the number five even though I got five on it and five pound plates for sale that you could buy. Increase the load at the new weight, get 15 hard reps and keep building your press. Hope this video helped. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.